why small groups? Why do we believe in small groups? Well, because firstly, it's a New Testament model. That's how they did it in the first century church. The first century church grew to 100,000, 120,000 people in the first year alone. And it expanded and exploded in those years. Yet you see that every one of them was becoming more and more mature. How did they manage that? In the first century church, the small groups were the base of all ministry and fellowship. Everything happened, was born out of and strengthened and sustained by small groups. They met day after day in the temple courts and from house to house. They met day after day in the temple courts and house to house. Acts chapter 5 verse 42. So there are two types of meeting. One was in the temple courts, that's the larger group, the bigger gathering. And one was in the home, uh, in the houses, in the homes, the small, smaller groups in smaller gatherings. In fact, Paul often said in his letters in the beginning and the end, he says, greet the church that is in their home. He didn't say announce it at the synagogue. He didn't say announce it on Solomon's colonnade. He says, greet the church that is in the home. So the churches were meeting in homes, house churches, home churches, home groups, small groups, call it what you may. But that's where the church really is.